Ask the Messengers. And here now is some advice from those who are in recovery or those who are on their way through their process. Just knowing that if I don't, what kind of coping skill, it's just knowing that if I don't put that drug in me, you know, I'd be all right. <laughs> you have to have a made up mind. Um, all the treatment facilities in the world aren't going to help you as far as I'm concerned uh, until your mind is made up. Uh, I'm not saying you have to hit rock bottom or, or see your bottom in order for you to stop, but uh, something along those lines uh, has to be like, like, like an awakening, you know. Because if, if, if something uh, profound doesn't take place in your life, there is the possibility that you will fall right back into that category. Keeping busy, not isolating. Um, and one thing that I found out that works for me is that when I need to talk to somebody, not to be afraid to ask questions, not to be afraid to tell people how I feel or 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 what I'm going through or experiencing or or difficulties in my life. I don't I, I ask people questions now that I didn't ask before. I don't try to hide from people. Um so when you ask me what made me quit, there's a whole bunch of things that I can put together. There's nothing, not one single thing that I can single out. What would I have to say to save someone's life? Is that no matter when using, uh, we all come to a day where we have to stop using uh, because our lives are unmanageable. We can't function with the use of drugs. Uh, we have to lose the desire to use to find a new way to live, and that's, that's my message. I would say uh, most importantly is to pray, pray on it that uh, that you you know if you want if you're ready to get clean and sober and get your life back you need to pray on it uh, because if it wasn't for God I don't think I'd be where I am now today. Um, I ask for Him to remove uh, my uh, my addictions and my use and my problems and He did. It took a big catastroph catastrophic event to uh, occur and it did and ever since then I've been clean. Not pick up. It's not pick up. No matter what, just don't pick up. Ask the Messengers, the program that deals with substance abuse, real people telling real stories. Every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on WMYD Detroit TV 20.